Anna and Solaris ship with Sendmail. You can't easily uninstall it, and if you install something else, uh, the Sendmail package ships user esp in Sendmail. And normally, you want to un uninstall Sendmail, install Exim, and Simlink user esp in Sendmail to Exim. Kind of very difficult to do that on the official Solaris. Uh, we're going to make that easier by refactoring the Sendmail package so that user esp in Sendmail can very easily be pointed at alternatives like Exim or Postfix. We also want to add uh, multimedia software like uh, FFmpeg, VLC, and mPlayer. Uh, these are patent encumbered uh, software, some of them. Uh, we're, there are flavors of them which don't infringe pa patents. We'll make those available where we can, uh, where it's legal to do so worldwide into our main repo. Um, where we can't, for patent reasons, for example, America, um, uh, you have software patents. So things like FFmpeg, it violates software patents on, um, uh, well, MPEG. Um, you, you basically, the, we can host it in the UK, and we can make it available for people to install in the UK. It's not illegal in the UK, it's completely legal. So we want to provide this software, because at the end of the day, people want multimedia stuff on their operating system if they're using it as a desktop. In fact, even if they're using it on, on a server, they want to transcode video from one format to another. And certainly at my hosting company, we get asked for FFmpeg all the time, and it's not available in stock repos, and it's quite difficult to build on, uh, on Solaris. So if we can address this and take away all the pain points that Linux users have, we feel that we can, you know, improve adoption. And a lot of this comes down to the maintainers that we can get, because at the end of the day, it requires people like yourselves uh, coming along and maintaining these packages. So the Open Indiana Add-on Consolidation Project is going to need help from people like yourselves. And we're going to try to make it as easy as possible for people to contribute. And maintenance shouldn't be a big burden, because a lot of this software has settled down. And when they pump out a new release to rebuild it, you just have to change the version number and build it and test it, which isn't a huge effort. And if we can get our continuous integration projects going, um, it should be very easy for people to do this. As I mentioned, the security uh, and bug fixes are, I've talked about all this, so can skip that. So I talked a lot about the community and a lot about getting people involved. Uh, Open Indiana wouldn't be here if it wasn't for uh, the people contributing to it. Um, if I hadn't started it, it probably wouldn't be here. Um, and then where would we be? Uh, we've got humble beginnings and big ambitions. Um, and in order to realize our ambitions, uh, we need contributors. Uh, the more contributors, the faster it's all going to happen. And the point is that we love uh, Solaris. Um, the people doing this uh, love the technology. We're, we want Solaris to succeed. Uh, we want Oracle to be successful with it and for it to go from strength to strength. Uh, the last thing we want is for us to be uh, a thorn in Oracle's side. Um, we just want Open Indiana to be the best flavor of it. And, uh, yeah. So we're trying to foster a friendly community. Um, it's quite fun. We hang out on internet relay chat. Everyone talks to each other. Um, you know, we want to take Open Indiana to as wide an audience as possible. And it means people like yourselves. You know, I'm sure a lot of you have hobbies, uh, and I'm sure a lot of those hobbies could be swapped in for Open Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. Um, how you can help? Well, right now, um, people always think, you know, if we need contributors, that they're going to have to be programmers. And the odd thing is that that couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, very few people working on the project write any C code. I haven't written any C since university, uh, which is uh, surprisingly quite a long time ago now. Um, we need website developers. Our website looks like crap. Um, it, it's incredibly hard to find people with website skills. So if you know someone, please put them forward. Uh, we need project managers. Um, myself, I run a, a business full time, uh, and that sucks up a huge amount of my time. And Open Indiana is a huge project. Um, and a lot of the techie people aren't really geared up for, for project management. So if you do have skills in the project management area, and you feel that you'd like to get involved, uh, come forward. You don't have to be incredibly technical. You just have to keep track of things. And prod and poke people and get them to meet deadlines.
um, systems administrators. Th this is our bread and butter. Uh, we need sysadmins. Um, anyone who uses Solaris on the command line really is a sysadmin, and uh, if you can type commands into a bash shell, you can help. So, um, here's where I really try to sell it to you. Uh, how does helping us help you? Um, well, it's first of all a rewarding experience. Thousands of people are going to use the stuff that you're using. Um, our CDN, uh, Content Delivery Network, where uh, people download our ISOs, since we launched Open Indiana, we've been doing more than four terabytes a month. So um, that's 4,000 downloads of the OS per month. Uh, and we've been going over six months, and it shows no sign of slowing down. So a lot of people are using this. A lot of people are trying it. So, you know, if you want to get your name out there, it's a good way to do it. You'll also learn about the guts of Solaris, and that's going to improve uh, your capabilities at your day job. Um, it's going to mean people are going to come to you to ask how something works, rather than you having to go and ask someone else. Um, it's going to look great on your CV. Saying that you've contributed to an open source project uh, really does look good on your CV. And when I'm employing people, um, if I see that they've, uh, someone's contributed to an open source project, I know they're serious about their trade. I know that they are trying to sharpen their tool set and that they're trying to make the world a better place, which is the kind of employee I want to employ. So it really does look great on your CV. And that vastly improves your earning potential. And I'm sure all of you want to earn more money. So, you know, if money can incentivize you, uh, then what can? So how to get involved? Uh, there's the mailing list. Um, it's quite busy, so if you do sign up, you probably want to filter it off into a uh, folder. Um, it will flood your inbox. Um, we've got IRC, uh, which is Internet Relay Chat. It's been around longer than the web. Um, just drop by. We've got two channels, Open Indiana, which is kind of uh, aimed at our users. Um, we've also got OI Dev, which is the development channel where we talk about uh, the development uh, of the OS. And we're on Freenode, which is where um, free stuff uh, gets developed and open source stuff. Um, going back to the mailing list, we've got a whole bunch of them. Um, we've got our uh, main development mailing list where we talk about development matters. We've got a discuss list, which is where people just discuss their issues, their day-to-day -day stuff. Um, We've also got a new contributors uh, list for people who have never contributed to an open source project before and they might not necessarily want to jump on OI Dev where big boys are talking about complicated stuff. Um, the new contributors place is a great place if you're feeling shy, come along, say what you can do even if it's not very much and people will be incredibly receptive and give you as much help as, as, uh, as you need to get you involved. Uh, we've got a wiki, um, it's loaded with stuff, it's a bit messy in that regards. Uh, if you're a clean freak, we'd love to have you along. Um, it's got some really great information about how to, to, to build stuff and how to, to use the operating system. Uh, we're also trying to replicate the FreeBSD handbook, which is an excellent document that FreeBSD has that documents how to use the thing. We're trying to, to replicate that on our wiki. Um, it's pretty empty at the moment, um, but if you like documenting stuff, uh, you can do that there. And we're also on Twitter. Uh, we don't tweet a huge amount, so if you don't like being spammed, do follow us. We also hold weekly meetings. Uh, these are on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Um, GMT. Uh, it's held in OI meeting, again on Freenode. And uh, if you just want to come along and watch uh, operating systems being developed, uh, you know, please do drop by. And finally, um, not quite finally, because we've got the t-shirt raffle and the DVD handout, but, uh, um, and questions. But uh, I want to thank everyone who's contributed to Illumos, Illumos and Open Indiana, because um, without you know, the people contributing, it wouldn't be here. Uh, I want to thank Sun Microsystems from the bottom of my heart for their vision and for their courage in open sourcing Solaris. Um, I mean, for a large company to release billion, uh, well, half a billion US dollars worth of research and development into the open as open source software was a, a, a tremendous thing for them to do uh, and I'd like to thank them for it. I'd like to thank Oracle for their commitment to Solaris uh, in one form or another um, and I'd like to thank the UK OUG for their help running uh, LOSUG as well. Um, and lastly, uh, questions. Hopefully there are loads of them. <coughs>
Yes.